Uh, this is for both of you. Can you just walk me through the feeling walking off the court today, uh, knowing that you're headed to the playoffs? Yeah, it feels amazing. Uh, you know, I've been here since the, since the first year before uh, John Jaren got here and changed his whole organization around it. Um, it feels amazing to be a part of, you know, something new, you know, where we changed and, you know, now we're back to where we're supposed to be. And um, as a feel, it feels amazing. It's so surreal. Um, and I can't wait to start. For sure. Uh, same, man. It's, you know, I want to say crazy, but. It's, you know, what we work for, uh, you know, after, you know, last season, you know, uh, being right there, uh, right after that game, you know, we, we were talking with each other and, you know, we all knew what we had to do and we knew what we wanted to accomplish. So that off season, you know, everybody was working, came back, was ready, you know, to uh, gel as one and go out and battle with each other. So uh, I can't say, you know, uh, we were surprised, you know, uh, at the position that we're in. Uh, because, you know, we work for it, but um, always, you know, grateful uh, to be, you know, where we at. 100%. Hey, Coach, uh, Megan Triplett. Hey, guys, we just talked to Coach Jenkins. Um, it looked like you guys gave him a Gatorade bath or a water shower there in the locker room. Can you just talk about what Coach Jenkins has meant to this group and what it means to get here with him? Uh, he means so much to this group. Uh, you know, he's like us. We're learning. He's learning. Um, you know, he's so unselfish. Where, you know, he's not a coach where he's just it's his way. You know, like it's it's everybody. You know what I mean? If you see something out there, he's taking it in and, and looking at different scenarios and he's learning on the fly. You know, he means so much, but he does so much work. Um, you know, he sleep goes to sleep. Um, you know, he's focused. He's locked in. And he's, just, he's a motivator. He finds a way to motivate us in, in any situation. So um, he's amazing. Uh, just piggybacking, you know, of him, um, you know, with him, you know, Coach Jenkins, uh, you know, not just, you know, wanting everything his way. You know, he allows us to, you know, also, you know, hold him accountable as just like he do us. And I feel like, you know, that just make a better relationship, you know, between the players and coaches. Uh, you know, when we all, you know, want to uh, be better at, you know, whatever we're doing and all want to win, uh, you know, this is really, you know, the outcome. Uh, he's a guy, you know, who's very locked in. Like DB said, you know, he barely gets sleep. He will, you know, just actually, you know, just meet with guys, you know, uh, randomly just to, you know, uh, just talk outside of basketball to just learn his players. And, you know, that speaks, you know, a lot for his character. Um, you know, later that game, you know, uh, and I, I love pressure, uh, honestly. Uh, you know, I feel like you know my game rises to another level. And you know, um, they went on a run late to you know tie the game. I, overtime, you know, took the lead some, but you know we kept battling. And uh, you know, although you know I made you know a shot, uh, a lot of credit goes to my teammates. Uh, you know, without them, you know, we probably wouldn't have been in you know position for me to you know be able to even take that shot. And then later in the game, how we, you know we handled it, you know, came out with a win. Mm -hmm. We will go to Clayton Collier. Hey, uh, this one's for Ja. Just um, you know, going into this one, obviously there was a lot of talk about you know how the Warriors have given you space and just setting the tone for this game with those first couple threes. Um, you know, just just what did that do for you for confidence wise and, and just for proving you know who you are and the level that you guys want to be at. Uh, you know, I'm always you know uh, confident in myself, uh, but I also you know give a lot of credit to my coaches and teammates, especially you know this guy right here. Uh, throughout the game, you know, he always tell me, you know, be ready to shoot, shoot the ball if I don't shoot it. You know, always telling me, you know, uh, just shoot with confidence. And, you know, tonight, uh, you know, after learning, you know, how they were playing, you know, me the first game, and, you know, I was locked in on that and uh, made shots. Top five. For sure. Top five. <laughs> Kelsey Wright Johnson. We talked to... Hi guys, sorry. We talked to the rookies before you and they were a lot more hyped and you guys are a lot more safe. How long do you allow yourself to celebrate and then when do you guys walk back in? Uh, I know, you know, it's 
a big accomplishment, uh, accomplishment for, you know, all of us. But, uh, you know, me and Dylan, you know, knows the job not finished. You know, uh, we're not trying to be done. We're just making it to the playoffs. You know, we're trying to make a deep run. So, uh, obviously, you know, we, we will celebrate. Uh, but, you know, we have to, you know, lock right back into uh, playing, you know, Utah, who has, you know, the best record, you know, in the league. Evan Barnes. This is for both of you, but Dylan, you can take this first. You've been here the longest out of anybody. You came here after this team had made the playoffs with the grit and grind there. And now, as the longest guy, you can be here. What does it mean for you guys? I know you guys are not, the job's not done, but just to get to this point, what does it mean for you guys as a young team to just be able to taste this experience so soon, really, you guys just work together? We're achieving everything that we wanted. Uh, you know, we said that. Uh, you know, last year um, in the playing game that you know, we, were, we were this close um, by making the playoffs. Um, and we knew that you know, next year we had to come back and you know, give the same effort and a little more. And guys had to get better. And, you know, we came back and did that. Um, in this playing game, you know, we found a way to win. And, you know, it just means a lot you know, to have these guys all around. Um, you know, we were creating a winning culture. Um, and that's the main thing because every single every single year um, you know, we're gonna get better and you know we're ready for we're ready for Utah. Hello Dylan, congratulations on the win. So what it means that win and that way that you won tonight about the potential and about the future of that group? Um I think it just shows you know that the future is you know very bright here. Uh, man we we battle um, Coach even mentioned he think this, you know, one of our best games we ever played. Uh, I feel like, you know, we just have a team full of dogs, you know, guys who want to win, guys who, you know, are willing to, you know, lay their body on the line, you know, uh, for the team. And, you know, we all gel as one, you know, we all uplift each other and we all, you know, preach confidence in each other. So I feel like with that, you know, we'll be a, you know, a very special team. You know, we go out and fight each and every night. And as long as, you know, we, you know, stay together and, you know, keep it going, uh, it only gets better. Thank you, Beth. Uh, hold up, another thing. Uh, I know we won, you know, you know, we're in the playoffs, but my dog need his respect on this defensive team for sure. Yes, sir. And it is unacceptable that he's not getting the recognition that, you know, some of these guys are getting. And, I mean, you can pull up the stats and, you know, see, you know, his defense on these top players and, you know, see them versus other teams. Uh, so give my dog his respect. Need it.